Where should you put your HVAC system? In the attic or in the basement? And why? What are the advantages of putting in the attic versus putting it in the basement? If you're thinking about building a house and you don't know the answer to this question or you haven't thought about this, you might want to watch this video. Hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell thing so you know what I'm doing. You want help with your project? Go check out my membership levels. Click the join button. Become a member. Let me know in the comments. Say, I joined, and I'll give you my email, and that'll lead to contact with me. You're watching HVAC Tips for Homeowners. I'm Tad. Let's get started. Let's go over the attic first. Why should you put your air conditioning system in your attic, and what are the advantages? The advantages of putting your air conditioning system in the attic is it's out of sight, it's out of mind. Unlike the basement, in the attic, you can't see the ductwork and you can't see the system. That's one advantage. Another advantage to having your air conditioning system in your attic area is you have more room in your basement area now. And that's another advantage. You don't have to cut holes in your floor for your vents. If you don't want to cut holes in your floor and you want your vents in the ceiling, then that's another advantage for you if you have your air conditioning system in the attic area. Now let's cover the disadvantages of putting your air conditioning system in the attic area. The first disadvantage that I can see is if you ever have a drain issue and your contractor doesn't install a safety pan to put the unit in or a safety switch, then you may have water pouring through your ceiling and that may cause damage. Most contractors put safety pans and safety switches but safety switches can fail. And if they do, then you'll have water pouring through your ceiling. Another disadvantage is framing. You may have to frame out some of your joists to get the unit that you're trying to put in the attic to the actual location where it's going to be best suitable. So you might not want to do framing. You might not want to frame out some of your joists, but this is something that has to be done usually when you put your unit in the attic area. Not always, but usually, especially if you want to try to save room and you want to have a storage area up above your ceiling. Another disadvantage that you may have is more ductwork, more line sets, which is the copper that interconnects the indoor and the outdoor unit, and more wiring. Why? Because it's easier to go from the indoor to the outdoor unit from the basement than it is the attic. This may cost more and it may take longer for the job to be done. However, the advantage of having out of sight, out of mind, and not having to look at the unit in the basement because it's in the attic may actually be better for you. One thing that might not be a disadvantage, but it may be something you have not thought about is a good attic access and then a good walkway to the unit that is in the attic area. You need to make sure that you have both of those so that you have good serviceability and you can get to the unit if something does happen. Now let's go over basement and the advantages of putting your HVAC system in the basement. The first advantage is if you ever have a drain issue, then you're not having a unit in the ceiling that could damage the ceiling. Your unit is on the floor in the basement and you'll have less damage if you ever have a safety switch fail or if your contractor does not install a safety switch and a pan. The next advantage is you might have less duct work, less wiring, and less line sets. So the job will take less time and it may cost less to do the job if the unit's located in the basement. Another advantage is less noise. If you have your unit located in the basement, then you may not hear it if you're on the main floor. But if you have your unit located above the ceiling, which this would have been a disadvantage for having your unit in the ceiling, you may hear your unit running, especially if you don't have insulation in your ceiling. You might have foam insulation, and foam insulation doesn't go above your ceiling. It goes on the rafters, and I'll show you that here in just a moment. I'll show you the unit that we're starting to install here. Now, disadvantages for putting your unit in the basement area. One disadvantage is headroom. Depending on the height of your ceilings in your basement area, you may lose some headroom with your HVAC system installed in your basement because you may have ductwork running underneath your trusses. So you may lose headroom. Another disadvantage of having your system in the basement is it's not out of sight like in the attic area. And if you don't like looking at it, then that may be a disadvantage for you. Let's take a look at the unit that we're installing here. We haven't finished this job. We actually just started it this week. If you have any questions, 
comment below. We are in the attic area. This is the walkway to the indoor unit. This right here is the indoor unit. We're installing a HMH7. It is a modulating heat pump. You can see the ductwork right there. There's our safety pan. We will have a safety switch. And you can see the ductwork goes straight and then takes a left up there. And I'll show you the rest of it here in just a moment. Those are the line sets. That's the copper. This is the thermostat wire that goes to the thermostat. I'll show you where the return is going to be located. And there's the foam insulation. So this is spray foam. And there's going to be no insulation above the ceiling. This will be spray foam. All right, let's show you where the return is going to be. So the return is going to probably likely go this way and then turn left and then go down. And I'll show you where it's going to be framed out. Here's where our thermostat is going to be located right above the return. And this is where the main return is going to be for that air handler. So ductwork is going to come down here and it's going to take up about half of this little bitty closet here. And if you want to see this full job when I'm done, comment below and let me know. Here's some more ductwork. This is where the ductwork goes straight and then takes a left and then takes a right. It's all square duck, a few different sizes. That way we have good air pressure, good air velocity. Here's one of the boots. This is where a register will be placed. It's got a boot and it's four by 12. And these are our supply vents. Here's our line sets going through the floor to the basement and then it'll go out and it'll be on this side of the house. The outdoor unit will be out there. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something. Let me know in the comments if you like this video. And if you want to see this job when it's completed, let me know. Comment down below. Say, yes, I want to see this. And I'll do another video and do a follow-up. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell ding before you leave. And if you need help with your project, check out my membership levels. Click the join button, become a member. Let me know in the comments, and I'll get you my email. And that can lead to contact with me. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Homeowners. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.